So here I am looking for short-eared owls. First time for me. I've never seen an owl yet, but I'm at the spot that's known to have them this time of year, and they should be active this time of the day. I got here early to try and be prepared, which means a lot of waiting. But at least there were some snow geese ending their day, and a couple of bald eagles in the distance to watch while I waited. My equipment is all Nikon. The camera is the Z9, and I have two, and I had both on hand. One had the Z mount, 800 PF lens on it, and I never touched that one. The other was mounted to my old F mount, 600 F4, second generation version. I have the Z mount, 600 TC on order, but it may be some time before I see that. I even had myself set up for maximum visibility, but I later moved down to ground level. The first owl appeared far in the distance while a northern harrier just sat and watched. This was several hundred yards away, at least. Another northern harrier enters the picture, also looking for some dinner, and they're joined by a second short-eared owl. As the Harrier dives to the ground, all gets quiet for a while. And this one's just content to sit, even as another one comes into view. By now the sun had set, and we're robbed of its golden last light by some low clouds in the west, and it was getting dark fast. This was a learning experience for me, as most firsts are. The next time out, I'll do some things differently if I can. But I did make some good choices. Having the f4 aperture instead of an f6.3 was pretty wise. I needed every molecule of light I could get. Although I may try the 800 next time with maybe a slower frame rate to compensate, it would be nice to have that reach. Finally, one of the owls got a bit closer. Now, when I say closer, I'm still talking about a couple hundred yards or so away. With no light left and a target subject that looks a lot like the environment it's flying in, autofocus was not an option. The Z9 autofocus system is good, and it keeps getting better, but it had no idea what to do with this situation. So, manual focus it was. I use focus peaking to help me stay on the right focus plane. That's a huge help, but I still drift off once in a while. I did shoot myself in the foot a couple of times by engaging the autofocus, which resulted only in immediate hunting of the autofocus system and a 100% blurry image. Without that golden light, any chance of autofocus was completely hopeless. My ISO was extremely high, probably well over 10,000 most of the time, though I stopped even really paying attention to it. I was pleased to at least come away with some footage from this first try with the owls. As I said, it was a learning experience, so I hope to improve my chances in the near future and improve my results. By the way, I was using the new remote grip with the fluid head for this video, and it really helped. I have no doubt that I did better with it than I would have without it.
wildlife photography is a process and a journey, and I'd like to try and share mine here. Hey, please feel free to offer your comments and suggestions down below and please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Thanks for watching.